Greetings, everybody. Get your King James Bible. Turn to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29. This is a continuation of the Jeremiah Commentary Series. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Jeremiah 29 and verse 1. Now these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem and unto the residue of the elders which were carried away captives and to the priests and to the prophets and to all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had carried away captive from Jerusalem to Babylon. After that, Jeconiah the king and the queen and the eunuchs the princes of Judah and Jerusalem and the carpenters and the smiths were departed from Jerusalem by the hand of Elisa, the son of Saphan, and Gemariah, the son of Hilkiah, whom Zedekiah, king of Judah, sent unto Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captives, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. Verse 5. Listen to this carefully. The Lord says, Build ye houses, and dwell in them, and plant gardens, and eat the fruit of them, So build houses, live in them, plant gardens, and eat the, the fruit of them. Verse 6, Take ye wives, and beget sons and daughters, and take wives for your sons, and give your daughters to husbands, that they may bear sons and daughters, that ye may be increased there, and not diminished. And of course, the Lord wanted his people to marry within their own tribe. But Chaplain Bob, that's racist. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? Read Ezra chapter 9 sometime. God wanted his people to marry within his people. Seriously. The Lord says to be increased... In numbers not decreased in the book of Genesis it says uh, be fruitful and multiply Satan says don't have children they're a burden abort them all go to Planned Parenthood or planned deathhood something like that so build houses live in them plant gardens, eat of the fruit of them, take wives, take husbands, have children. Verse 7. And seek the peace of the city, whether I have caused you to be carried away captives, and pray unto the Lord for it. For in the peace thereof ye shall have peace. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Let not your prophets and your diviners... Now, what's a diviner? Uh, it's like a witch or a sorcerer, a wizard. Let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you. Neither, hark, neither hearken, don't listen, neither hearken to your dreams which ye cause to be dreamed. For they prophesy falsely unto you in my name. I have not sent them, saith the Lord. For thus saith the Lord, that after seventy years, that after seventy years, the big seven O, be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word toward you in causing you to return to this place. 
For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. You see, the Lord wants to do good and give us peace, not evil. But the people don't want the Lord's way. They want their own way. Verse 12. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me, and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Wow, we got to read those again. Verse 12. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. When you pray, the Lord's going to listen. Verse 13. And ye shall seek me, and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Because ye have said, The Lord hath raised us up prophets in Babylon, know that thus saith the Lord, of the king that sitteth upon the throne of David, and of all the people that dwelleth in this city, and of your brethren that are not gone forth with you into captivity. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and will make them vile figs, and will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten, they are so evil. A few lessons ago, I talked about the evil figs. So, those that refuse to hearken to the Lord, to go to Babylon, God's now pronouncing judgment. He told them, go to Babylon. Verse 18. But those that don't want to listen to the Lord, that rebel, this is his pronouncement of judgment upon them. Verse 18. And I will persecute them with the sword, with the famine, and with the pestilence, and will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth, to be a curse, and an astonishment, and an hissing, and a reproach among all the nations whither I have driven them. Because they have not hearkened to my words. They didn't listen. Because they have not hearkened to my words, saith the Lord, which I sent unto them by my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, but ye would not hear, saith the Lord. And when, it's, when it says rising up early, I don't think he's talking about, oh, they got up before sunrise. No, no, no. No, the Lord sent them early before he pronounced judgment upon them. You know, quite a while. The Lord gave them space to repent. But they wouldn't do it. No, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. You know, if it feels good, do it. Uh, we're, you know, we're not going to listen to Jeremiah. No way. No, the Lord sent, it, sent Jeremiah to them early. Rising up early and sending them, but ye would not hear, saith the Lord. Hear ye therefore the word of the Lord, all ye of the captivity, whom I have sent from Jerusalem to Babylon. Verse 21. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, of Ahab, the son of Koliah, and of Zedekiah, the son of Masalah, which prophesy a lie unto you in my name. Ooh, prophesying lies. Behold, I will deliver them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, 
and he shall slay them before your eyes. Uh, that's a good way for the Lord to show that uh, they're false prophets. Oh, yeah. God will uh, put it in Nebuchadnezzar's heart to kill those false prophets. Verse 22. And of them shall be taken up by a curse by all the captivity of Judah which are in Babylon, saying, The Lord make thee like Zedekiah and like Ahab, whom the king of Babylon roasted in the fire. Because they have committed villainy in Israel. What is villainy? You've heard of what a villain is. That's a criminal. Because they have committed villainy in Israel and have committed adultery with their neighbor's wives and have spoken lying words in my name, which I have not, which I have not commanded them. Even I know and I am a witness, saith the Lord. Verse 24. Thus shalt thou also speak to Shemaliah the Nehelamite, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Because thou hast sent letters in thy name unto all the people that are at Jerusalem, and to Zephaniah the son of Masalah the priest, and to all the priests, saying, The Lord hath made thee priest in the stead of Jehoiada, the priest, that ye should be officers in the house of the Lord for every man that is mad and maketh himself a prophet, that thou shouldest put him in prison and in stocks. Now therefore, why hast thou not reproved Jeremiah of Hanathoth, which maketh himself a prophet to you? For therefore he sent us in Babylon, saying, This captivity is long. Build ye houses, and dwell in them, and plant gardens, and eat the fruit of them. And Zephaniah the priest read this letter in the ears of Jeremiah the prophet. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Send to all of them of the captivity, saying, Thus saith the Lord, concerning Shemamiah the Nehelamite, because that Shemaliah hath prophesied unto you, and I sent him not, and he caused you to trust in a lie. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will punish Shemaliah the Nehelamite and his seed. So not only the, the guy, but his children. He shall not have a man to dwell among his, this people, Neither shall he behold the good that I will do for my people, saith the Lord, because he hath taught rebellion, because he hath taught rebellion against the Lord. I don't think I'd want to be that guy, that's for sure. Uh-uh. So, all right, well, that is the end of Jeremiah chapter 29. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.